have all the animosity built in. I can focus on the task at hand, which is beating Anthony Johnson. Uh, last time I had all this frustration towards Jones and trying to fight him, this feels good. It feels really, really good. You talked about that the emotion made it difficult last time. How did that manifest itself? Was it like in a game plan thing, in a feeling? How, how, how did it affect you? Just like I, I was just actually watching the fight today. And I was watching the first three rounds, and it was a pace that was tough. I normally wouldn't push, you know, that crazy. Uh, just wanting to get my hands on him so bad. Um, just everything. And then I felt like this dump that I can't really explain. I normally can fight long, I can fight hard, but this last time I felt this dump and I couldn't really explain it. Does this still feel different from the fights that came before it, being a title fight, being here, being the headliner? Not really anymore because I don't think anything could be as big as the last one. You know, and it's like you fall into a comfort zone. I've headlined five cards now, being my Strike Force Championship fight against Barnett, uh, UFC card. I was training for the headline the New Orleans card, so. It's like now I feel just like I feel like I headline cards. So it's kind of where I feel like I should be, you know. So it feels good. It feels different, but good. It feels much better than the last. I, I, you know, I after the fight with Jones, I almost felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulder when I left here January 4th. I was like, you know. It didn't work out, but now I can separate myself from this guy. And then the positive test came a week afterwards. So now we're tied together again. And then I, I, okay, that goes back. And then this happens. It's like now I'm back tied to him. It's like I cannot separate myself from John Jones. You know, at the end of the day, John will get himself together. And how good would it be for you guys to come back and then he has to come back in the challenges role against me. I'll run his ass through the mud. Hey, do you think in this fight you pose more of a challenge for uh, for Rumble than than maybe Jones does because of, because of what you bring? I don't know, man. I you know Anthony Anthony says that, but it's all about matchups. So maybe he felt like he matched up better with John. I don't know. I don't know how you could think that whenever he beat me, you know. So and Jones presents a lot of puzzles for anyone to try and figure out. Uh, but again, styles make fights. I believe I have a great style for Anthony Johnson. You, see, you, you had to cut this training camp short just by a couple of weeks. In practical terms, what did that mean for you? What did you have to rush or shortcut? It's a little condensed in terms of weight management is all. I was already training hard, so uh, weight management needs to change a little bit. I had to start to pull it down a little faster. I don't feel any effects from it. I mean, I feel great. My weight's been awesome, and I, I feel ready to go. Uh, I guess, the biggest difference would have been over the course of these last three weeks, I've sparred 40 rounds of Velasquez. And if I had five weeks, I wouldn't have done 40 rounds of Velasquez because I would have put it off as much as I could. But knowing that it was such a short period of time, I used them for as much as I could. You expected Bader to stand up or you expect to be on the I expect it to be everywhere. You know, when I watch Rumble Johnson, he's a bully. You know, he bullies guys, he makes them go backwards, and he, he traps them. I'm not going to allow that. If he tries to bully me, I'll stand right in front of him, and as he hits me, I'll hit him right back. And then we'll see how the bully handles uh, when he can't, when nobody's going to run away from him. So it doesn't matter where the fight goes. I hold advantages in a lot of places. Where's the Ryan Bader animosity coming uh, from? There's no Ryan Bader animosity. It's just Bader's talking, you know, which is smart. You know, he should because he's got to do something to make himself interesting. But, uh... <laughs> Bader needs to sit his ass down and be quiet is what he needs to do. I've got a championship to win over here, and this dude's twittering me. He's lucky he's not over here right now. I'll kick his ass on Friday before I fight Rumble on Saturday. When do you actually uh, quit checking social media? Do you, do you keep looking up to the fight? Or all the way. All the way. Why not? It fuels me. People, there's a, there's a, there's a uh, sentiment is that I'm in over my head. And I enjoy seeing that because it motivates me. I don't know where it come from, but let him believe it. It'll feel good on Saturday night whenever I get my hand raised. Casey, hey, do you feel differently about John now? All the things he's going through, maybe some sympathy for him a little bit, like he's going through a tough time. You know what, man? As, uh, do I feel different towards Jones? No, I mean, I feel bad for his family and the people around him, but he's making these decisions. I think it's time for people to stop feeling sorry for this guy 
and make him realize that he has to get things done the right way. I mean, by feeling sorry for Jones, it's almost like you enable the guy to continue to do bad things. I mean, I don't feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for the people closest to him because these decisions don't affect just John. It affects everybody around him. So no, I don't feel sorry for John. I feel sorry for the lady he hit in the car that has a baby coming. I feel sorry for his parents who have to wake up every morning and see those types of things in the media. I don't feel sorry for him. He did this. 